The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf Illustrated by Robert Lawson Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell flowers. Sometimes his mother who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. He wouldn't run and play with the other bulls and skip or butt heads, she would say. But Ferdinand would like to shake his head. I like it better where I can just sit quietly and smell flowers. His mother saw he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though he was a cow, she just let him sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until it was big and strong. All the other bulls had grown up with him in the same pasture, would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bull fights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He just liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bull fights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and if sit, instead of sitting on a nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? Would you just sting him? And that's just what the bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him, and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just like the one for the fights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bull fight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderilleros, with sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadores, who rode skinny horses, and they had long spears to stick into the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome, and he bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull, last of all. Then came the bull. And you know who it was, don't you? Ferdinand. They came, they called him Fernando, the fierce, and all the banderillos were afraid of him, and the picadoras were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely 
and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw all the flowers in the lovely lady's hair and just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the banderos were mad and the picadores were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he's sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers, just quietly. He's very happy. <laughs>